artist. Today you'll be making some African jewelry. Now the Ndebele people are a South African tribe that love to create houses with all these beautiful bright patterns on them. They were mud walled houses and they started making these patterns mid 18th century. All these patterns are actually expressive symbols that were used to communicate between their tribes and different groups within the Ndebele people. These patterns were actually a secret code that they liked to use. Now you should be able to see lots of V shapes, lots of triangle shapes and geometric shapes. And a lot of these patterns were actually based on beadwork. The houses were very often painted in limestone wash and then later the ladies would paint the different shapes and symbols using their fingers. Uh, we will get started with how to begin making your indebele jewelry. You will need two pieces of paper, pencil crayons, a pencil, scissors, maybe a ruler, a nice dark black permanent marker or black cokey. If you don't have one, you can use a black pencil crayon and then pencil crayons to color in or cokies. You'll be taking your paper and decorating them with Ndebele patterns. Ndebele patterns are typically geometric, meaning they're not free-flowing and they have angles. So diamonds and squares, rectangles and lines. Okay, once you've drawn all your patterns with a permanent marker, you could have drawn it with a pencil first and a ruler and then gone over it. I chose not to. You're then going to select your colors. Try and keep within the traditional Indebele colors. And that would be your primary colors. And sometimes they do include black and white and possibly orange, pink, and green. So these are the colors we're going to stick with. Okay, once you have decorated all your individual patterns, I used a bit of paint so I'm waiting for it to dry. Once it is dry, I'll take my permanent marker or cokey or even a black pencil crayon like this. And then I will make sure all my lines are very, very thick. So I will then go and go over them again to make sure I've got a very bold outline between everything. So this step might be a bit boring, but it is very important because I just want you to see that section compared to that section. So you do need to outline your work again. When you have your indebello mural, you will then take it and cut it into indebello or African jewelry. Think about a headband, a necklace, um, cuffs or bangles and maybe even earrings that you could put on with press stick. You need to cut your mural up into different things to create African jewelry. Now, um, you could even make a hat, try different things. And if you do have time, use a paper plate that you can create a big indebele beaded necklace and then use your mural for other things like cuffs for your arms or um, even a headband. Can't wait to see what you create. Once you have created your um, indebele patterns or your African patterns on a piece of paper or two, you will then take a pair of scissors and plan to either cut out parts of your patterns and create bangles. Remember, these will be colored in. I'm just cutting out an example very quickly to show you what you could do. So you might have cuffs for your wrists. You might take some of these and join them together and make a really long necklace. You might decide to actually make a headband. Um, you might want to make a crown that you use and use different sections over here to create the band around your head 
Um, there are lots of things you could do. You could take sections of your colored in um, patterns and create earrings that you stick on with press stick. Um, remember, these will be colored in. I'm just cutting up a piece of paper just to give you some ideas what you can do. So you are creating African jewelry, earrings, necklaces, bangles, headbands, even a crown. So you are cutting up your mural. Please do try to take a photo before you cut up everything into the jewelry. And then once you have all your African jewelry on, please ask mom or dad to take another photo of you wearing everything. If you do have time, try and create a paper plate necklace that would give you the rounded look. And it will include a link on how to create that. But also create your mural and then cut it up into different things that you can make into jewelry. You could attach your bangle with press stick, with tape, with um, print or glue and um, it doesn't have to last. You just want to show me a picture of it. So I hope you enjoy this project and I can't wait to see all your beautiful African jewelry. Girls, please remember I was only showing you an example of the black and white version. Your mural will have color. Please don't cut up a black and white version. I was only doing that to show you how you possibly might cut up your mural to make jewelry. I hope that makes sense. And remember, you will need to give me two photos. One, a photo of your mural that you created. And two, a photo of you wearing your cut-up African jewelry. Um, and once again, I hope you enjoy this project.